Um, we're absolutely frothing about these series. It's our high performance series. I just want to give you a warning up front. It's not for those beginner intermediate riders. It's definitely for those intermediate to advanced riders um, who want to ride in that, that upper, upper speed range, I guess. Oli, we, we talk a lot about the HAs and we talk about stall speeds. Can you, um, obviously these have quite a high stall speed. Can you just explain that briefly to us? Talk, talk us through stall speeds. Sure. So when you're riding along on your foil and you reduce the speed bit by bit, at some stage the foil will just drop. What happened there is that the front wing stalled. It no longer has a consistent flow over the top and the front. And if that's happening, then you lose your pressure side at the bottom and the lower pressure side at the top. And that immediately you, means that you lose all lift. And these HA wings, we know they prefer to sit, let's say from zero to 100. They kind of like to sit at that 60, 70, 80% uh, range where any lower than that and they start to uh, start to drop off in speed. What helps keep the wings so efficient and so fast? Yes, yeah, so we have designed the HA wings for the upper speed spectrum, which means that we needed to uh, find a fall section that had reduces the drag significantly to operate at that. That comes a little bit at the cost of the bottom end speed range of these wings. You can't have it all basically. If you want to have the optimum for the top end, you got to focus on that. And that's what we have done. These wings feature quite a high aspect ratio. This is all in the range of 10. And we have a relatively short cord length with a relatively thin profile thickness. This is how we get the reduction in drag. If you look at the front of the wing, uh, it's the anhedral. Um, and we have a little um, shape up for the tips, um, which helps us with the ventilation of the tips. So you can fully breach this tip, does not matter. The flow still stays attached. There's other wings out there. If you breach them, um, you immediately get ventilation. That means air is catching, and then a, um, a vector of air is running along the foil, and that does the same as I explained before with the uh, stalling. It will stall the wing. I, I've noticed with these wings, it's amazing. I've, I've looked down a few times, just cranking a turn, just how far out the the wing tip, the, what we call tip breach, how far that tip comes out, but it reconnects immediately. Yes, so, so one thing we noticed early on when we were prototyping them and testing them is we came out of, let's say, the top of a wave, full noise. And normally if that happens, your stabilizer is breaching, your front wing is breaching, you're about to go over. However, with these HA wings, and, and that's the surprising part a little bit, that's why I would like to say they, they are for HA wings quite user-friendly, actually. HA wings are normally a bit tricky to maneuver. These ones aren't. As long as they're ridden in that upper speed range. Yes, for sure, you gotta remain the speed, but you can come out full noise with this and just reconnect again. And the floor touches again, like what, nothing would happen if you ride on. I've been amazed how fast our HAs are through the water, you yes. seem to be traveling at a higher speed and that, that cadence of pump seems to, to really help with the efficiency. Yeah, everything feels quite effortless with these wings. This has to do with the high aspect ratios, they're highly efficient, the lift coefficient of these um, foils is quite high. Then, as I explained before, the thickness and the sh uh, short cord length, they help us just to reduce the drag. These wings especially, compared to others, as you start to put a little bit of heel roll, heel pressure or toe pressure, they really start to roll into the turn. Why is that? There may be some high aspect ratio wings out there that have a little bit more cord length from the tips. Um, if you have quite a wide tip at a um, wide span, will hinder you a little bit with the roll movement because you got to imagine there's water above and there's water below. For anything to happen, the wing has to move the water out of the way. So the fatter your tip is, towards the end of the wing tip, the harder we'll get to roll. And what about the tip, the, the, this flat section here? How does that work? Yes, so um, if you look from the front, um, we have the anhedral here and then the tips move up slightly. That helps us just with ventilating the tips. So um, we will not have any ventilation going on on the tips when you breach. Oli, the HA wings, what kind of sports are they best suited for? Yeah, there's a variety of applications. So we first, when we set up the wing range, we also thought, man, that's a lot of wings. But we figured out they all have their right in their own way. So the smaller sizes, if you, if you look here, the 550, 650, 750, these are actually uh, great crossover wings for a couple of disciplines. First off, you can ride them when you're a lighter weight rider, you go winging with them. You can ride them 
kite foiling or a heavier rider or mid-weight rider can ride it in, in, in powered up conditions when he's really out in 20, 30 knots, for 40 foiling. knots for wing foiling. wing foiling. So Oli, tell us about the mid-range, so the 850 up to 1050. Yes, yeah, so these, these wings, probably the 850 you can still use for kite foiling. However, 850 really starts shining for the winging. And depending on your weight and the conditions you go out, um, it goes all the way up to the 1250. Let's say for my weight range with uh, 82 kg, for a light wind day, I probably would be on, a, on the 1250. On a stronger wind day, I go out on the 850 or go down to the 750. I'm 93 kilograms and I and I find you know my my ideal bigger size is kind of on the 1050 for those lighter wind days. I've got a reasonable pump technique. My magic favorite size is definitely the 950 for winging, for for prone surfing, um, and getting that pump cadence. I really like the 950, able to connect a lot of waves. But the 850, I love it with a wing. It's so fast. I know you, it's one of your favorites as well. Yeah. So as soon as the breeze is up a little bit, we're having 15 to 20 knots then the 850 is my go-to. So Oli, tell us about the larger sizes of HA wings. So 1150, 1250, 1450. Yeah, like any, any wing in that size and with that aspect ratio and that wide wing uh, span has a really amazing pump. You know, you get good glide for a long, long way. These wings being so, let's say, thin in profile, relatively thin in profile for their size, makes them really slippery for the water. So there's really not a lot of drag to them. Mm. I mean, compared to some competitors, they are super efficient, aren't they? Yes. That, that design language you talked about before being fairly low in the profile thickness, that's gone through the whole range, is that all of these wings feel the same. And once you find your position in the mask box, one of the benefits of only designing the range all at the same time was that you don't have to move your mast around more than one position on the, on the box. So it's a very, consistent feel to the whole range. There will be a couple of occasions where you have to make small adjustments depending on where you go out. You know, the one day you go out on a flat water spot, the other day you go out on a wavy spot. And if it's wavy, you want maybe a bit more front foot pressure. So Oli, tell us a little bit more about these larger sizes, 1150, 1250, 1450 for winging and light winds and downwinding. How do they uh, perform? So the bigger sizes, um, given that they are so high aspect ratio, they are for their size highly efficient. That, as I explained before, has to do with the thin profile that we've used. It doesn't take a lot of effort to get them going to pump up on the foil. Then they have a nice pump term and they have a long glide. They are all located in the upper uh, speed range. Awesome. And I mean, I've just been blown away by the, the 1450. These little bumps and lumps you can connect together and, and it just goes on for ages. What are, what are the wings best for in all the different categories? Let's say winging, for yeah, example. So if you just strictly talk about winging, I would say, uh, depending on your weight, you probably could go down to the 650 if you're very lightweight and then strong winds out there. Um, but for the normal average 70 kg person, it would be probably from the 750 on to the 1250. That would be your main winging sizes. And then it depends on your conditions and your weight, which of these wings you would you choose. Oli, tell us a little bit more about the ideal sizes for prone foiling. Yes, you, you need to be a little bit of an advanced prone surfer for this. I would um, say that the 1050 uh, would be one the go-to one then. It has a really nice pump to it when prone falling, but you got to keep the, the energy of the wave going. So you got to stay in the high speed um, part of the wave. Tell me about the smaller sizes for, let's say, toe falling, winging, smaller riders. So the smaller sizes would work for kite falling uh, well, but also for um, toe falling and for winging in stronger wind conditions. If you go toe falling and big surf, um, 650, 750, you will be amazed of how much fun you get out of them. Obviously, I guess the smaller rider is going to be using the smaller one. I know Marley's been raving about the, the 550 and 650. Yes, they're super fast, but still super controllable. And they have an amazing glide for their size. So it's, it's, it's really surprising how out of this little surface area that we have, how much glide you get out of these wings. Yeah, I've been amazed with the toe foiling. If you keep the speed up, how you can still pump and create lift even at a high speed, but the position you get to on the wave is insane. I've never been out so, I've never been so efficiently fast through the water 
that I find myself in way in front of the wave with, with more time and in a different position to any other sport I've ever done before. So just to summarize for all the HA wings, we really do have a massively wide range of wings to cover a wide range of rider styles. Um, they all operate in that higher speed range, but are incredibly fun, incredibly efficient. And um, I'm just hope really excited. We're really excited for, for you guys to all get out on the water and, and test them. And as said, they're extremely user-friendly. So don't be afraid of them. You will master them very quickly.